Hey there, Melissa from Living a Creative Life. And I just got a BOGA board in the mail and I am so excited. I'm so excited. So what is the BOGA board? Well, it is not this board. This is a Gator board, I think. It might be a different brand, but this is a lightweight watercolor board that is made for stretching watercolor paper. And I've got a sheet on here. This board can actually be stapled into but in this case I've actually used paper tape to tape on this sheet. Let's see if I can hold it so you can see it. So the whole sheet the whole sheet is taped down. I get the sheet of paper wet, completely wet, and let it just sort of hang out in wetness for a couple of minutes. And then I lay the sheet down on this paper and use this gummed paper tape that's made specially for stretching watercolor paper. But the problem with the paper tape is that it doesn't always work. You can see here it's lifting up and the last piece that I stretched lifted all the way up. And what happens is the paper absorbs the water and it really, it stretches out, it relaxes. It gets, um, it's, it, it's like a sponge. And, um, and then when it dries, it shrinks. And if you don't apply some kind of tension to the paper, then it will buckle it creates all these like ripples and they dry permanently into the paper and you can restretch the paper but it's just a pain in the butt who wants to do that right so I've been using this board which is nice because it's lightweight and I can put a full sheet of watercolor paper on it and what I've been doing lately is this is the first layer hello um, that I have been that I put down, which looks kind of blah and like nothing right now, but I'll continue to put more and more layers on it. And eventually this will be anywhere from four to eight or more individual little tiny pieces. And I love working this way. And I, I like to have a piece of paper on my drafting table at all times in some, you know, state of layeredness. So I just bought a BOGA board and let me get a knife here. It just came. I'm so excited. The U.S. postal guy knocked on my door. You can see it would not fit in my mailbox. So I'm going to open it up and I will show it to you. I got inspired by Michelle Nicolaisen of Wicked Whimsy. She opened a package in a video and it was adorable. So I thought, ha, I've got something fun to open too. It doesn't have as many pieces as what Michelle opened but so it says if you could stretch why wouldn't you boga board the 100% effective three minute method for stretching watercolor paper and it has instructions for how it works and it's it's not as lightweight as my other board I will say that but it's uh it's pretty cool so now they advertise it as this side being um, a tray that you can put water in to soak the paper. I don't know if I would do that or not. But anyway, so I've opened it up and it has these pieces, these wedges that come out. Ah, there we go. Got it. Okay. So... You can see this um, channel here. The wedge goes into this channel. And um, if I can get my other camera set up, I will give a little demo of exactly how it works. But what the beauty of this board is that once you put the paper on and it's wet, you stick the wedges seal, um, the edge of the paper gets wedged in with the wedges. And so it actually physically stretches the paper, whereas the tape method just it doesn't actually stretch the paper beyond the, um, you know, the paper's loosened up from being wet, but it doesn't apply tension to it. The tension happens only as it dries with the other board. And this one, there's tension while it's wet, so it's guaranteed, supposedly. We will see. Um, but I will have to set up my other camera so I can videotape it in action. To be continued. Okay, here is the watercolor paper. I did not demonstrate getting the paper wet because I didn't have a really good way to do that with my camera, but it's very wet. I just stuck it in the bathtub and sprayed it with my telephone shower head. You can see there's some bubbles in here and I'm not sure if there's 
if it's necessary to try and get those out before I put the wedges in. Um, so this is the first time I've ever, ever done this. So we're going to try it. Let's see. It just says it doesn't it doesn't specify uh, which way to return the wedges, like if it matters. Um, hmm. All right, we're gonna try this. Oops, got to get that centered. One wedge in. Hmm. It looks like. I might have to pull it a little bit. I'm not sure. Don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm not sure what if it matters which way to put the wedges in if I do this. I don't I don't know if this is right or not, but there's a little bubble that I don't like. It does not want to go away. It may be that the bokeh board requires a little bit of uh, a learning curve. Uh, there we go. Okay, I think I've, I think I put this wedge in <clears throat> not the most effective way. I think you're supposed to go like that. Oh, I'm gonna make sure that it's centered. There we go. Nice. Still looks a little um, bubbly. I wonder if I should do this one again. It's not quite as easy as it looks on her website. Might just be a little bit of a learning curve here. over here bubble there's a bubble there um, it will dry flat I'm sure of that but I don't know if I should try to get these wedges in better or not they're a little hard to get out rare Oops. There we go. I think that's as good as it's going to be today. So I do see a little bit of bubbling here and here, which will flatten out um, when it dries. But I actually don't want it to dry yet. I want to, what I like to do, although um, Gail Weisfield, who makes the Boga board, recommends uh, letting it dry. I actually like to start painting when it's wet. I'm going to put a little walnut ink there. And actually, if I had been speedier at this, I could have had much wetter paper, which I really would prefer. Let's just get it wet. So the way that I like to work is very improvisational and spontaneous. So I have no preconceived notions as to what is going to happen. And once the walnut ink is dry, I can actually lift it, which makes for really interesting effects. Let's now add a little more. And I've got some ink, Ziller blue ink mixed with walnut ink. And now I can just let those interact with each other and they will do what they do and after it's dry I will add several more layers and eventually 
it will turn into something interesting. It's pretty boring right now, but eventually it will turn into something a lot more exciting. Okay, that's it for now. So I'm back. Uh, I added some more color to the paper on the bogey board and I wanted to show you what it looks like. So, whoa. There we go. That's what we've got so far and that will evolve some more. And I will post the finished paintings on my daily art fix. So subscribe to my daily art fix if you want to see what what they end up looking like. Thanks for watching. Bye.